welcome to another Train Insane video. You are in the kitchen with the Insane Bikini Mama, also known as Hannah Etherson. I am a mom, a businesswoman, and a bikini competitor, and I always eat well on the go. And you can too, with these super clean, easy recipes that we know you'll enjoy. So here are the list of ingredients for the Crock-Pot Skinny Chicken Pot Pie. First, we have three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. We've got two cans of 98% fat-free cream of chicken, the two 10 and three quarter ounce cans, onion powder, ground black pepper. Then we have the Pillsbury reduced fat biscuits. There are a lot of different brands out there, so you can try Bisquick, you can make your own. I'm sure there's lots of gluten-free options out there as well. And we have a 12 ounce bag of frozen green peas and diced carrots. Here are the list of calories, carbs, protein, and fat per serving. If you're wondering where I got these numbers, I got them off of the MyFitnessPal app. If you're interested in downloading the link, it'll be posted here on the video. This is one of my favorite easy recipes. What we have here is the crock pot skinny chicken pot pie. It'll start off with three pounds of chicken. So I'm just gonna pop these in the crock pot. Everyone should own a crock pot. They're about $30 at Walmart or Target. It makes life so easy. I'm then gonna open up my two cans of 98% fat-free cream of chicken. Scoop that in here. And we do our second can. You wanna make sure you smooth it out, that you cover all the chicken so that it stays moist, okay? Then I like to do just onion powder and black pepper for taste. And then all you do is literally stir this up and then you can either put it on high for four hours or you can do the low setting for eight hours overnight. So if you just want to let it cook while you sleep, that is a great option too if you're not going to be around during the day. When you are about an hour away from eating it, all you have to do is just open it back up. The chicken's already gonna be done. I usually just take two forks and shred up the chicken so it has a really nice shredded pulled chicken kind of look. And then you're gonna wanna throw your 12 ounce bag of green peas and diced carrots into the mixture. And then when the hour's up and everything is soft and bubbly, you can go ahead and bake your biscuits, which are awesome. You're just gonna wanna bake these as directed. So you're gonna heat in the oven at 350. Uh, you're gonna put them about one to two inches apart on an ungreased cookie sheet and then bake for about 13 to 17 minutes, just depending on your oven. All you have to do is when the biscuits are done, go ahead and put a one cup serving of the mixture onto your bowl and then with one uh, biscuit and it is delicious. Enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Hannah Etherson with Train Insane Gym, always reminding you that no matter your situation, always strive to be the best version of you. Please check back each week for more videos. One is obviously again posture. You want to make sure that you maintain a, a vertical posture, chest up. We want to keep our hands fairly close to our sides.